Greetings, everybody. This is Chaplain Bob Walker, Light of the World Ministries. In John 8, 12, Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Somebody sent me an email about the calendar and the Sabbath. You know who you are. Um, and basically, yep, I agree with you. Um, the calendars have, our calendars have been changed. Uh, they were changed by Rome a number of times. Uh, do we even know what day is what? Uh, I've heard people say that the Sabbath is by the sun. I've heard people say that the moon uh, is uh, sets the Sabbath. You know, but the day the the moon takes twenty. I think it's twenty eight twenty eight and a quarter days to circle the earth um i'm i don't know that's what i've heard you know if the earth and a year is 300 or oh, i'm sorry three it's 365.25 days 60 365 and a quarter days for the earth to go around the sun it's not a perfect circle and um I think it's 28 days for the moon. I could be wrong about that. Let me let me look that up because I, I don't want to be giving people false information. All right, according to uh, let's see, an it's an edu. It's uh, it looks like lpi.usra.edu website. Uh, it takes 27 days, 7 hours, and 43 minutes for our moon to complete one full orbit, orbit around Earth. Um, uh, but it takes the moon 29.5 days to complete one cycle of phases from new moon to new moon. That's what I was thinking of. There you go. So it takes 27 days, 7 hours, 43 minutes for the moon to make one orbit. But to go to make a, a complete cycle of phases from new moon to new moon takes 29.5 days. So I was partly right. But I'm glad I checked it. Um, so it's lpi.usra.edu. And you can look it up. Sky, moon phases, sky tellers, myths, magic, and whatever. Um, so let's take a look at the planets. Do you know that our planets were pretty much named after Greco-Roman gods? Now, I don't care if they're Greek. I don't care if they're Roman. But they were named after false, satanic, heathen gods. Mars. Uh, well, that was a Roman god. Mars, the god of war. Jupiter, god of war. The chief god. Uh, for the Greeks, he was Zeus. Um uh, then you had Venus. She was the Roman god of love. Um, then you had uh, Mercury, the messenger god, right? Pluto, god of the underworld. Basically, um, that was the uh, thing of, uh, what, Hades? Perhaps you've heard of Hades. Ever hear somebody say, ah, go to Hades? Yeah. But, um, yeah, so, you know, who named these planets after Greco-Roman gods? I mean, who named these? I, a bunch of Christians didn't, that's for, that's for sure. And what about the days of the week? Well, you got Sunday, not S-O-N day, not the Son of God day. No, it's S-U-N, the sun in the sky day sun day and then monday i've heard is uh named after the moon monday moon day um and then uh i'm not sure about tuesday wednesday supposedly after woden which was some kind of germanic god thursday after supposedly thor which was one of those uh, when the gods came down from heaven, and I think it was Odin, the chief god of the Norse, the, the Vikings-type people, and found a beautiful woman, decided he wanted her for a wife. She got pregnant, 
with him and had Thor and he was half God and half man. Yeah, where have we read that? Hercules, uh, Goliath, yeah. And then you had Friday. They say that's from Freya, which was some kind of a goddess, but I don't know. And the German, uh, they call it Freitag, which Fry means uh, free or free day. I mean, you work Monday through Friday, and then Friday is your free day. When you, you, know, when you get off work Friday, you're 5 o'clock, dude, I'm out of here. It's Miller time, right? Well, not for me. I never drank that swill, but uh, Miller's Pabst Blue Ribbon, Old Milwaukee. Oh, <laughs> God. Ugh. I couldn't drink that stuff, even when I was a kid. I drank more when I was underage than I have my whole adult life, I think, so. And then Saturday was uh, named after Saturn, Saturn Day. Uh, what was Saturn? Saturn was, uh, yeah. let's see. Oh, Uranus was a Roman deity of the heavens. And then uh, Neptune was the god of the sea, corresponding to Poseidon. Uh, you know. And Saturn was another Greek, Greco-Roman type god. Ah, Saturn was king of the Titans, the giants. Uh, Titans, you yeah, know, they called them the, uh, yeah, they were, that was another name for the uh, giants. So, yeah, who named all these things? Certainly not me. Uh, have you ever heard of the hypocritic uh, I'm sorry, the Hippocratic Oath. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. The Hippocratic Oath that the doctors do. They swear by the god Apollo, a uh, heathen, satanic, Greek god. Uh, you know, that they're not going to do any harm. I swear by Satan, I mean Apollo, that I'm not going to do any harm. Uh, yeah. I'm going to fix you up with a vaccine. Yeah. No, thank you. But yeah, our calendar has been changed. Uh, how about the days of the, I mean, uh, not only the days of the week, but what about the months? Yeah, we got our uh, calendar from Rome, uh, the Roman, you know, uh, what do they call it? The uh, You had the Julian calendar, and then Pope Gregory's Gregorian calendar, okay? And uh, January comes from Janus. Uh, which was uh, the Roman god of beginnings and endings. I think Janus was the two-headed, two-faced god. Uh, I'm just going to cover a few of these. So, uh, let's see. Some claim that April was named after the goddess, the goddess Aphrodite. Uh, she was known as Venus, the mother of Athena. So, I don't know if that's true, but, you know, I sure didn't name these months. July was named after Julius Caesar, okay. Uh, May was supposedly the Greek goddess Maya, guardian of na nature and growing plants. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maya was, Maya was the daughter of Atlas, the titan who carried the world on his shoulder, and the mother of Hermes. Uh, so, yeah, spring month carries her name. June married uh, was uh, named uh, after Juno, Roman goddess of love and marriage. And you always wonder why people get married in June. Oh, yeah, because of the weather, right? Uh... All right, July, August after Augustine, the emperor, um, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so you get the idea. Do you know that the, uh, the you-know-whos have a month called Tammuz? And uh, it came from Babylon. Now, who was, who was Tammuz? Uh, if you type in um, month of Tammuz, you'll see it's from the you-know-whos. And uh, 
So yeah, it's let's take a look. So Tammuz occurs around June or July on their Gregorian calendar. And it was adopted from the Babylonians, okay, not the Lord, the Babylonians. Um, what does the Bible say about Tal uh, Tammuz? What does the Bible say about Tammuz? Oh, real simple, Ezekiel chapter 8, verse 13. He said also unto me, Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations that they do. Then he brought me to the door of the gate of the Lord's house, which was toward the north. And behold, there sat women weeping for Tammuz. Yeah, the month that the uh, you know who is named a month after. Women weeping for Tammuz. Then said he unto me, Hast thou seen this, O son of man? Turn thee yet again, and thou shalt see greater abominations than these. Tammuz was uh, associated with Easter, Ishtar, uh, Semiramis, Nimrod, uh, Easter, all those kind of things. That's what Tammuz was uh, uh, tied into. The occult type stuff. The mystery religions. So... The days of the week, the months, the planets were all named after all kinds of weird stuff that has nothing to do with Christianity. Do we know what day the Sabbath is? Probably not. You know, uh, this person that wrote me the thing said, you know, do we know for sure? And I have to agree with her. No, nope, we don't. We don't know. But. You know, I'm not advocating keeping the Sabbath like the you-know-whos try to. I'm just saying that there's like one day a week I kind of set aside for doing Bible studies and, um, you know, try to reflect on the things of the Lord. Try not to do commercial stuff, which I've done many times. You know, I've bought things. And so, you know, I'm probably the worst Sabbath keeper in the world. And I don't tell people to keep the Sabbath. It's just something that uh, I kind of made a promise to the Lord, and I think I should keep it. I should never have made that promise, but I did. But I'm not a I'm not a Sabbath keeper. And anybody that knows me knows I don't do this Hebrew root stuff. New, no, no, absolutely not. And as she so eloquently points out. Uh, Christ is our Sabbath. Christ said the two commandments. Uh, love the Lord, love thy neighbor. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. And then he later said, love one another, the brethren, the Christians, which we should do. And uh, so the three commandments. So, it's, well, the two and a half commandments, I guess you could say. You know, love your neighbor and love the brethren. Which, uh, they make it pretty hard to do sometimes with their false doctrines, you know. But uh, the calendar's been changed a number of times. I don't even know if Friday's the Sabbath. I don't, you know, Friday evening when the sun goes down to Saturday. I, I don't know if that's a Sabbath. Saturday's a Sabbath. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. So, all right, uh... Hope I cleared up any confusion. Uh, all glory to Jesus. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor to Jesus. Amen.